everywhere you turn, there's a new AI tool that is just blowing up here and there. And Canva is no exception. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Canva AI video generator tool. Let's jump to my computer screen so that I can show you step-by-step step how to use this. All right, guys, as you can see, I'm in Canva here, right? And if you're starting from scratch, you can go there and you can create a design and you can do custom size and you can choose the size that you want your blank Canva, your blank canvas to be. Otherwise, you can just um, choose something existing if you have some existing size or some project that you're working on. Or you can just simply type whatever your goal is. If you want to create a YouTube thumbnail or if you want to create a banner, whatever that is, you can search for it and you'll be able to find blank canvas there. And in this case, I'm going to just choose a blank YouTube thumbnail canvas here. And this is what I will get, just a blank canvas. No. To find this AI image generator, right? You need to go over to the left hand side here and go to apps. And here you will see they already start to show, like advertise this text to image um, tool. But if you don't see this, all you need to do is just basically type text to image. And if you hit enter, then you'll see it as the first option here. And you'll see a lot more different apps there but this will be the first one in the option all you need to do is click it and if you have never used it before you'll get the option to like open it and you just basically open it right now how does this work here is the text field right where you can try your prompt uh, here are the different styles so you have an option to choose various styles so you can get a different look and feel to your image that is generated and bear in mind that based on these different art or digital arts, let's say, or the style that you choose, your image prompt, the image result will be different. So that's a good thing to play with once you're generating your image. And as well, apart from styles, you have aspect ratio. So if you want the square, the landscape or the portrait, you can choose whatever you want. Now, you know, I'm going to just leave it as a square and what I've done, I have found a website here and where they have some really interesting prompt and I'm just going to grab some of these prompt here guys and just put them into the text to image generator here in Canva and let's just see what they will generate, what it will generate for us. So we'll go ahead and hit enter and let's see. So cotton overgrown with trees and la grasslands okay this is pretty interesting right um let's play around with the styles here and see if we'll get a different result let's try the vibrant and let's create again and this create again but if you're not satisfied with your result you just basically either change the text and you create again or you want to have a different style, you go ahead and you choose the style that you want. We can try a filmic. It will do like a regenerate of the images. And have a look at this. This is another um, output that it had given to me. Uh, let me try another style here. Let's go ahead and try concept art. Let's see how this looks with the result. That's interesting. Right, that's a really interesting one. So you, we can just drag the image onto the blank canvas, or if you want, you can also click on it, and it will also jump onto the canvas there for us. So it's really up to us what we want to do. Let's add a new page here, and I will try another prompt. Let's go ahead and try castle on top of a cliff. Yeah, we can try this one, guys. Let's see. Let's see what it will result in. You can hit enter. <laughs> That's interesting. This is very nice. And um, I'm curious, like, let's try different style. Let's try dreamy, for example. It will be different. And <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? Look at that. Look at that. So it's, you know, your result will be based on the, 
prompt and also based on the style that you will choose you can get different what's interesting though you know you realize that these are more like a picture um, type of image I will try a different style afterwards just to see how good those images if I can generate something more realistic let's have a look at this one here let's try this prompt let's go ahead and let's see god light cinematic look whoa this is actually cool right this is actually cool but what i'm gonna do now i am going to this is some interesting result here i must say very interesting result uh, but they're more like a comic comic looking more they're not realistic so i am going to just let me add a new page and i will change it to more let's try let's try filmic and see and then afterwards i will choose the image the photo style and let's see what if it will generate something more realistic really interesting this filmic one so that's cool let's let's change it to photo and let's see what it will result the photo style is actually different right as you see you know based on the prompt as i mentioned you get a different result based on the prompt i'm not so much of a fun fan of this one but it's actually interesting so by no means this ai tool is something like a mid journey or one of those other crazy ai tools that generate ultra realistic images right but for Canva, it is very handy. If you're creating a design and you want to just come up with something that you cannot find in the library, then you can easily use this text to image generator to generate whatever you want and utilize it in your designs. And that's pretty handy because it's all in one place if you get what I mean. That's pretty sick, right? <laughs> no, guys, if you've used this feature before, let us know in the comments below. And if you find some value in this video, feel free to subscribe to the channel to see much more videos coming out every week like this one. See you next time.